Right. So I've had this big sucker sitting in hydrofluoric acid now for overnight. The acid was really hot. In fact, in some cases it was boiling. You can start to see now that it's really exposing the gold. And you can just see how much gold is all over the surface of this. And then of course you can see the black arsenopyrite as well. It totally gets discolored by the dissolving process. But there's just an unbelievable amount of gold all throughout this whole specimen. You can see varying colors of gold as well. We have the very bright yellow, very high luster, shiny gold. And as we come around, you can see that in some of these areas we get more of a coppery tint to it. A more of a bronze or a darker yellow color, which is really cool. So we have a lot going on in this specimen. It's going to take a lot more work yet. There's still a lot of rock on this specimen. Sorry about the wind. But you can see that it's been dramatically transformed from how it started. This other side, same thing. You can see a lot of the gold is now showing up. It's quite pitted where the arsenopyrite is eaten away faster than the quartz. This whole area here, I expect to remove most of that rock and really just show off the gold to the best that I can. And you can see that even though the gold is all exposed up here, it's all still all down through here as well. So this is going to be a multi-layered uh, large specimen and I'm not sure how to actually best expose all the gold. I know some of it will come off and there will be smaller specimens that will be for sale that have come off of this monstrous piece. I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying doing the work.